So my name is Lars Stenqvist. I'm the CTO of the Volvo Group. Volvo Group is trucks, buses and construction equipment. And uh, I'm here in Davos. Today I have um, participated in a great panel on AI. And we focused a lot on the value coming out of AI. And it's much more than just driving efficiency and shortening lead times. You have to search for the value for your customers coming out of this. From today's discussion, it's obvious that we already now can start to reap benefits because there is a lot of tools available already today. But of course, more is coming in the years. But we have to be cautious. We need to make sure that we take full responsibility for the outcome of those tools available today. Yeah, hi, my name is Harry Quinn. I'm a CTO for Tata Consultancy Services. I think the most popular uh, expectation that everyone has is that AI is going to help improve productivity. And the question that we were essentially debating in the panel is that, is there something beyond productivity? If you look at all knowledge work for which AI is actually used for, you sort of find that there is a large gap between what sort of, if you will, the elite users or elite engineers are going to be able to produce to that of an average. I mean, in fact, the gap is often a factor of 100 to 1,000 x. And the reason for that gap is because every knowledge work in essentially involves a lot of decisions that people have to make and the actions that people take based on those decisions. A lot of the automation is actually focusing on actions. And we today rely heavily on a lot of tacit knowledge that people may have acquired to actually drive decisions. So we feel that actually a technology like Gen AI and AI has the ability to actually unearth a lot of knowledge from a lot of unstructured data sources and use that to augment people's abilities to make decisions. So we actually feel that perhaps our greater value is in getting people sort of average to good or good to great. And that's really sort of where we think the value is. And that's where we feel AI and Gen AI is going to be most beneficial for.